Hey y'all, this is Leslie from Scratch Made Homestead coming to you from the camper this morning. Um, earlier I made uh, some sausage uh, sandwiches for Matthew and Danny. They're down working in the uh, food plot, uh, planting a bunch of stuff. So um, I just thought I would uh, bring you um, a little um, tip, a kitchen tip that I've learned over the years. Um, when I first started, I've cooked with cast iron all my life, but I recently, in the past four or five years, started doing it all the time. So I wanted to find something that um, helped me to clean my cast iron but wouldn't scratch my cast iron and how to do that and go about that. So um, so what I'm going to do is put a little fire under the pot. And so what I'm going to do is let it, so I took them, their sandwiches down to the food plot, and then I came back, and I started fire under the barn, and all this, so I came back, and I forgot to put water in the pan, so, um, I thought, well, what a better opportunity than to show y'all how this works really well, um, so I'm going to set you down a minute, I hope you can see, yeah, there it is, all right, so, this is my secret weapon. I'm sure y'all have heard of these. They're uh, chain mail scrubbers, and I love mine, love mine. So I'm gonna put it in there. There's no um, uh, dish soap or anything like that. It's strictly water. And typically what I would do with this is I would, I would do this right after I finished uh, cooking in it uh, because it would still be hot and I wouldn't have to, um, to uh, you know, heat it back up. And in the past, also what I had done, I didn't even think about doing it while it, the pan was still hot. And so I would put a little water in it and then we'd eat and come back and um, then I would have to really scrub it and it's hard to hold on to when it's wet. And so I started putting a sponge over it and then just cleaning it in the sink. And uh, then this morning um, I had done something else in this pan and uh, washed it and it dawned on me how to do it. So, so I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. It's uh, starting to steam. All right, so I'm just kind of waiting on it to bubble and then just start moving it around. And it is simple as that. Got a little crusty up on the side, do it up on the side. Alright, and I think that's all there is to that. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn you around right here. Hold on, let me get you set up. that and I'll clean that in a bit and then I always run hot water behind this there's not much grease in this and I could put a little dab of um, uh, dish soap in right now but there's really no need to All right, so my water's hot you go folks cleaning cast iron one-on-one -on -one. all right it is a uh, blustery day here on King B acres it's <laughs> I know y'all are gonna laugh at this uh, last I checked it was 49 but it's uh, very windy coming out of the north and very cloudy so it's not a very fun to, day to be outside but um, we got most of our stuff planted yesterday, and uh, we're looking forward to getting a few more things done today, and probably we'll do some cleaning or something like that inside. So I hope y'all have a great day, and uh, peace. Leslie with Scratch Made Homestead. Bye, y'all.